crossroads where two roads fork and where we make a choice. Which way to go? Taong 2019, nang magpa siya, tayo. Ay. Ay, Laura Marina, Helia Bautista, Deana. Aling landas ang ating lalakbayin. We chose progress over poverty. Action over apathy. Ah, okay. Unity over divisiveness. Today, we only need to make good the choices we've made. Kailangan natin panindigan ang ating naging pasya. Mas madaling manindigan kung mayroon ng pundasyon. You make your own future. Sa bahaging ito, marami na tayong maipagmamalaki. Marami na tayong nasimulan. Matibay na ang pundasyon para sa puspusang pagtatrabaho. From the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, or BIFAR, we have secured resources to construct 12 community fish landing centers. Distribute 38-footer boats to LGUs and 1,819 fiberglass boats and fishing paraphernalia to the fishing communities. Dahil sa mga pasilidad na ito, tumaas ang kanilang huli. Kung dating uh, wat ng gamit pa ako ng fiberglass, ora pa ako kapanagat. Katulad ako lang makita ko, ako lang makaangga ko pamilya. Pero ay kaya ay may fiberglass na ako. Duro na mabutan ko, kung makakita na ako duro. We are proud to say that the Antique Dairy Program has boosted our local milk production. Programs from the national government have made this achievement possible. Kauna kasi ako kami karbaw ang amon gidanjat hinday lang sa kaja may gatas kami ng kamarlawadlaw kag may saving sa mga tinday. Nakakatuwang isipin na kahit ang feeding program sa early child care centers ay nasasagutan ng antique dairy program. Nagkapasalamat kita ko sa kay deputy speaker. Ma'am Norin Ligarda, naging piliin kami at maging recipient kanyang mga bupalo kung sa diyan makabulig ka dyan sa amon trangabuyan. Through the Agricultural Credit Policy Council or the ACPC, lending and multi-purpose cooperatives have been revitalized to serve as lending conduits to farmers so they can keep up with their capital demands of their production. Additional support from the Department of Agriculture have also boosted the production of rice, corn, and other high-value crops. The strides we've made in the area of agriculture and fisheries are enabled by the provision of support services, such as the rehabilitation of seven local ports, construction of a fisherman's wharf, and the fishery ecotourism development complex in Tibiao. Enabled too by new investments in roads and highways such as the Pandan Ecotourism Road, Vilvarna Suli Bridge, and the Panay East-West Road, among others, as well as more viable means of transportation to ferry our products. We continue to build farm-to-market roads, such as the humble footpath in San Remillo, where a habal-habal can now freely pass. We have linked Antique ports to other islands such as the Lipata port in Kulasi that harbors boats that can reach Katiklan in Aklan or Bulalakaw in Occidental Mindoro. 
Because of these ferry boats, Antique is now connected to the rest of the archipelago. The opening and continued improvement of the Antique Airport supports the accelerated pace of our economic activities. Work is a fundamental human right. Work ensures the realization of another fundamental human right, the right to a decent life. Calamities, even lack of job security, displace many Antiqueños from their jobs, thus compromising the right to a decent life. Sa isang dole tupad, sa San Remigio, ay gumawa sila ganyan lang, nipa, tapos may maliliit na sidling, kasoy, goyabal. The Department of Labor and Employment's tulong panghanap buhay para sa ating disadvantaged and displaced workers, known as tupad, have provided temporary employment to a good number of Antikenyos. Yung, yung uh, tupad, Bigyan mo ang tao ng isda at makakakain siya ng isang araw. Turuan mo siyang mangisda at makakain siya ng panghabang buhay. Economic prosperity will only happen if the poor and the marginalized will hold capital in their hands. So they will be emboldened to make sound investments. I harvest sa mundo, pinamatayo, ginagamit sa harvest. Thousands of deserving individuals have been tapped as beneficiaries of Dole's Pangkabuhayan program. Kaya naman, ang mga nawala ng trabaho ay nakapagpundar ng maliit na negosyo tulad ng sari-sari store, parlor, at tindahan ng bigas. DSWD Sustainable Livelihood Program has begun to take root in our province, touching the lives of thousands of our people. We have also partnered with DSWD for a vigorous implementation of the AICS, assistance to indigents in crisis situations. In the Kalai Seeds or Kapit Bisig Laban sa Kahirapan Comprehensive and Integrated Delivery of Social Services. These are vital lifelines for the most vulnerable sectors of our communities. The Department of Science and Technology, or DOST, has also provided support for our micro, small, and medium enterprises. In Sibalong, we've set up the Sibalong Technology and Livelihood Center to assist budding entrepreneurs. The DOST Techno Hubs infuse scientific and technological expertise with our entrepreneurial goals. In these Techno Hubs, we hope to see cutting-edge innovations that will make our industries more competitive in the region. Thus, enterprises such as the marine processing plants in Tibiao or the dairy production plant in Hamtik and many more all over Antique will boast of the expertise provided by our talented crop of scientists and engineers from the DOST provincial and national offices. Through the help also of our DOST, Industrial Technology Development Institute, ITDI. We have also put up brick-making facilities in Sibalum and Tibiao. These brick-making facilities will support our brick and clay industry. Through the Department of Trade and Industry, or DTI, we have supported our micro, small, and medium enterprises by facilitating their participation in national and regional trade fairs.
the Shared Services Facilities Program or SSF of the DTI will enable us to realize our own tuna highway, complete with the facilities for fish processing, marketing, quality assurance, among others. We will be able to develop our bamboo industry as well through the DTI as we are establishing a bamboo processing facility in Sibalo. Investments in health and education are the pillars of economic growth. The Department of Health is our partner in advancing the state of medical care in our province. Our efforts in the area of public health should touch the basic level of our community, the barangay. Aside from the construction and expansion of local hospitals, rural health units, and barangay health stations, and provisions for Butika ng Barangay, we have conducted and will continue to hold medical missions in all of the 18 towns, touching the lives of those who have had very little opportunity to receive adequate medical attention. We are able to hire pharmacists for our rural health units for two years now. New medical equipment have also been distributed to our hospitals. So, I made sure that there's enough for everybody in need. We have provided medical assistance to our Kasimanwa in need of treatment and medicines and to those who needed to undergo medical procedures. The DOH medical assistance to indigent patients or MAIT has helped those patients to get the best medical attention possible, not only here in Antique but also in Iloilo, Aklan, Capiz, and in Metro Manila. We support the Zero Open Defecation Program of the Department of Health. This means we will advocate for sound sanitation practices, part of which is to abandon the practice of open defecation. I have donated thousands of toilet bowls to different barangays all over Antique to demonstrate the need for households to build and maintain private toilets. We will also make sure all our towns will have access to clean and potable water to support our drive for better sanitation and hygiene practices. To start with, we have constructed a water ultrafiltration in Pandan Water District. Moreover, sewerage treatment plants are also being constructed in San Jose. Our hard work has yielded results. Antique has been chosen as one of the pilot sites for the implementation of the universal health care law. We have helped our communities prepare for disasters. The DSWD Regional Evacuation Center as well as evacuation centers in each LGU have been constructed. In partnership with the Climate Change Commission, we also conducted the necessary trainings for the LGUs on disaster preparedness and climate change adaptation. We've also provided fire trucks, police patrol cars, and responders to easily reach our constituents during times of emergency. Our partnership with the Department of Education, or DepEd, has yielded so much for the youth. New classrooms are being built, facilities are being installed and upgraded, and we've provided training programs for our teachers on culture mapping and leadership and innovation. TESDA has provided training for more than 16,000 scholars since 2016. 12,379 of them have been certified. 12,999 are gainfully employed. These programs will be continued with the completion of the 18 municipal training centers and the provincial training center. Through our funding allocation under CHED's Tulong Dunong program, we have provided educational assistance to college students in the last school year. For the school years to come, we will continue to provide assistance to all of the 12,000 or more students from the University of Antique System, as well as scholarships for the serving students in St. Anthony's College. CHED's assistance extends to students enrolled in private colleges as well as to Antiqueños pursuing college education in other provinces 
in Region 6. Ako nag-graduate kang Bachelor of Science in Hotel and Restaurant Management sa Advanced Central College as cum laude. Ako gali sangka binuligan kag sangka scholar ni Senator Loren Legarda sa anang tulong dunong program for almost three years. Tatlo kami nga magbugto. Ako ang kalibainan kag ang father ko driver. Thank you gid kay Senator Loren Legarda nga gintao na jaka naman para mabuligan kami. Pampito ako sa bata ni nanay. Kagan tatay ko, sang ka um, disabled run. Ang message ko kay Senator Loren, uh, thank you, thank you so much, Gid, na nabagal kita na bulig para naman ng matas ka nakin nga, kabos kita na sa kaboy, kita na nakagraduate ako sa bulig mo. Salamat, Gid, na hindi kita ka malipatan sa bilog ko mga kapoy. Together with Dole, we also supported local short-term internship programs so that graduates will continue to gain experience and enhance their skills. For example, para teachers were hired to help our teachers and students adapt to the new and flexible learning approaches in connection with the new norm. We've also provided support for the establishment of the country's premier state university, University of the Philippines Extension Campus in the province of Antique. What is progress and prosperity if we are not able to touch base with our people's shared histories, hopes, and aspirations for the future? In the course of passionately pursuing art and culture in the national development agenda, I've made sure that Antiqueños will also have the sole uplifting experiences that local creative expressions can offer. On several occasions, we celebrated the music of the Philippine Philharmonic Orchestra and the Rondalia. Antique is the only province blessed to be visited by the CCP PPO for four times already. We initiated the Comedia Festival in 2019 to showcase the dramatic talents of Antiqueños. Antique was the first province to receive the Pantayog ng Wika from the Komisyon ng Wikang Filipino. It stands as a symbol of the Kinaraya language, of our unique identity as a people. The last remaining Balay ng Bato in the province has likewise been restored and will soon serve as a cultural space to promote arts, crafts, and skills, and talents of the Antiqueños. Cultural work is always linked with other areas of local development, such as tourism and heritage promotion. The new Esplanade in San Jose, the restored old provincial capital building, as well as Gabaldon buildings, the rehabilitated Malandog River in Hamtik, the St. John Nepomuceno Heritage Church in Anini'i, are only some of the new tourist destinations in the province. Soon, we will also have our own regional textile gallery, our own Antique Convention Center, and in San Jose, a business park, and our consular office to facilitate passporting services to our Casimanua as a branch of the DFA. We hope to continue our strong partnership with the National Commission for Culture and the Arts, or the NCCA, for their unstinting support for our MSMEs, and our SLTs, as well as the Department of Tourism and the Department of Trade and Industry, so we can scale up the presence of Antique in trade fairs. The skills that our Casimanwas invest in the art of weaving are in itself a cultural capital. I believe that people with such amazing talent and heritage should be able to lead prosperous lives with their work. I will always be committed to preserving and promoting the dying art of local craftsmanship and merge it with sustainable business practices. To improve the supply chain, we've put up weaving centers in coordination with Filfida in Tibiao, Pandan, Bugasong, and Patnongon. We've also established a cotton processing center in Patnongon in coordination with Filfida. We 
may have the Philippine High School for the Arts, but my dream is to establish its regional counterpart here in Antique. The school I have in mind will nurture the dreams of our young people who aspire to become painters and sculptors, poets and fictionists, dancers and actors, singers and composers. Matagal-tagal na rin nating inaaruga ang ating mga kabundukan, kagubatan, karagatan at lupain upang magsilbing kanlungan ng ating malaya at malikhaing pag-iisip. Through the Enhanced National Greening Program, we have rehabilitated more than 5,550 hectares. The Pandan Arboretum is a green sanctuary and an ecotourism site. We will vigilantly protect and develop the Sibalong Natural Park as a lush watershed that will be home to a diverse variety of flora and fauna. We are Earth Warriors! We are enlisting the active participation of our youth to develop and protect the mangrove forest of Pandan. The challenges to our environment are many and can be quite daunting. In 2019, El Nino hit us. The drought reduced the quantity of rice production. Nagpasalamat man kami sa buligman ni Senator Ligarda sa pagtaumang kanaman kang mga fishing gears, mga pump boats sa aman ng mga 40 kabilang mga members. Nga kadyaan da rin man kinapangabuhian kag saraman sa pagbantay ka aman ng Nogas Island. Kinaprotektahan naman para nga ma-preserve naman ang ranga isla. The topography of Antique has made us 11th in the list of provinces most vulnerable to landslides. Measures to mitigate the impact of climate change, as well as disaster risk reduction and adaptation programs need to be integrated into our day-to-day -day lives in order to ensure our safety and survival, and to guard the gains that we have reaped from our collective efforts. Evacuation centers have been set up and efforts to retrofit existing structures continue. Roads, bridges, ports continue to be built and retrofitted to reduce the impact of climate change and to support our sustainable development efforts. We were on track scaling up our disaster preparedness and response program until the year 2020 when we confronted the global pandemic arising from COVID-19. My office and the Provincial Local Government Unit acted with dispatch with a profound sense of urgency meant to save lives. We exercised border controls in the terminals and airports to contain the spread of the disease. The most vulnerable of our Casimanwa were first in our minds. We distributed personal protective equipment food and health supplies to public health workers in the front lines to ensure the efficient and safe provision of services during the COVID-19 health crisis. Police and public health workers manning the borders were cared for by adequate provisions of food supplies and reasonable hazard pay. We thought of the poor and marginalized whose incomes and mobility were severely affected by the lockdown. Pagkaon para sa tanan served to buy the agricultural produce of our farmers who did not have the means to market their goods during the lockdown. The fruits and vegetables we bought were distributed to poor families served to augment dwindling food supplies during difficult times. Libre uli sa probinsya brought home Antikenyo stranded. We were very happy to see them reunited with their families. Meanwhile, in cooperation with the Department of Public Works and Highways, public spaces were disinfected. Tapat Ko Linisco was more than a facet of Dole's Tupad program, 
it was a lifeline to a decent source of income for workers who were laid off because of the global crisis. The implications of this pandemic are profound. Only by acting in solidarity can communities save lives and overcome the devastating socio-economic impacts of the virus. My office is busy crafting house bills that will serve our Casimanuas. We will make sure legislation will enhance the enabling environment that will bring to unprecedented development in all areas of human life to the people of Antique. When I assumed office, I have designed a blueprint to remind us of the seven goals we need to achieve so Antique can march to the beat of prosperity and progress, resilience and responsiveness. A. Para sa agricultural resilience. N. Para sa pangangalaga sa ating natural environment. T. Para sa turismo at teknolohiya. I. Para sa integrated, rural, sustainable development. Q. Para sa mas mabuting quality of life para sa lahat. U. Para sa united citizenry of Antiquenos. E. Para sa end of vicious cycle of poverty. The choices we have made as a people will define us in this most critical moment of our history as a province. I am so honored and inspired to be on this journey with you. Pinili natin ang daan ng tapat na panunungkulan. Pinili natin ang maaliwalas na daan na maghahatid sa atin sa masagana at payapang bukas. Wala sanang titiwalag. Wala sanang susuko. Babangon tayo. Lalagpasan natin ang krisis na dulot ng pandemya. Pagkatapos, ay lilingon tayo sa kabanatang iyon at mababatid natin ang tapang at giting na tinanim nito sa ating kalooban at iyon ang babaunin natin sa lahat ng panahon sa lapman o sa gana duro-duro gid kasalamat mga kasimanwa sa tiwalang binigay ninyo sa akin ang inyong Inday Lorenzo